today uh, as you know from last week we have started the series of al go for github so today we will continue with that and we will see the other workflows as well to uh, check out that how we can use uh, this new workflow which has been introduced by the microsoft so for this let me uh, go to my uh, remote desktop so this is my vm and here last week uh, as we have created a new app via workflow from the scratch so after that when you completed uh, your app and push your changes to your repository uh, automatically one of the pipeline of ci cd will run although as you see ci slash cd so ci means continuous integration and cd means continuous deployment okay so it this pipeline will run both ci and cd but when i click on this you will see that it has uh, completed one job which is of build type so it actually uh, build your app generated the artifact out of the build pipeline but it does not deploy anywhere because we do not have any uh, environment defined in the in the uh, in our settings.json from where we could uh, uh, in our yml file sorry through which we can tell our system that we need to deploy to this environment or we want to deliver to this environment right we have not defined in our yml in uh, that's why it has not been managed to deploy anywhere but uh, obviously build pipeline ran successfully and it generated two artifacts so when you click on this you will see uh, these are the two artifacts which is one of the main app dot app and one of the text file so if i download this one by clicking on it uh, let's click both and now if i go to the download folder here you see that this is my app file right which has been generated by this pipeline only ci cd okay i have not manually created that one this was initiated as soon as we pushed our changes from the vs code to this github okay so that's why this uh, automatically generated dot app which is tested one and then second one is the built output text file which you which, which has in a normal information like compilation information from which our app was compiled because this pipeline creates a new container build up a pipeline create an app create an app for it and then remove the container so uh, that's the use of this uh, pipeline called ci cd and as i have shown you this is the way through which we can create our app from the scratch via these workflows okay so talking about uh, the other workflows as you see that we have number of workflows with us so i want to start with another workflow which is create a new test app okay so now as you see that we already have this one repository with us and one app with us if i click on the code button here it is app one okay so what we need to do is that we need to go to the actions now and add a test app into this main app so let's do that i go to the show more workflow and click on this create a new test app when i click on this uh, the experience of this page the the look and feel of this page is very much similar just like uh, when we create a new app using this workflow now you have to do is that you have to click on this button and here the first parameter which is uh, mandatory or you could say important is app name dot test so as we know that our app name is if i go to the code section right now and we can see that our app name is a double p one okay so whatever your app name is you you have to use that so let me go back to the actions again and create a new test app click on run workflow and here i can write down app one dot test so this is this will be my test app folder okay now the publisher will remain the go digit 
these are the default id ranges yes i want to include sample code if you don't want to then it's also okay then you can write down your own code or with respect to the app which you have created but obviously our app is just a hello world app so i want the hello world test case only so that's why it has i will keep it to y okay it will generate a test case to test your hello world app okay so i will show you the code now the na last part is direct commit y or n so this time uh, last time we have keep it n so that it will create a pr and then we have to merge it but right now i don't want that so i just go ahead with this y and click on run workflow so when we do this uh, automatically uh, the uh, one of the uh, you could say this create a new test app uh, will run okay this workflow will run and what it will do it will move the changes here okay right now you could see that app one is there but afterwards when it ran it will create another test tab for us including the sample test code unit so let's go back to the actions and meanwhile uh, it will it will do the things let me see if i have already open the project yes i have the same app1 okay great so let's wait uh, by the time it create uh, our new test app successfully yes it's done now and if i go back to the code you can see that i have this new folder with me app1.test and if i open this i have this file with me hello world.test.al and you can see this that it has the default uh, test uh, you could say test code unit and the test case uh, written here and what the test case is that it has created a ha procedure called test hello world message with a handler function hello world message handler so what it is doing it uh, it is creating a variable of customer list test page then it open that customer list test page uh, as a view mode okay not on a edit mode so that anybody can edit it no it is only opening it on a view mode and then it is closing it okay that's it it open and then close now it is saying that if not message displayed okay message displayed is a boolean variable so if not the message displayed then the error should come that message was not displayed right now like if you if you know the default hello world app says that as soon as we open the customer list page the message will pop out hello world right so that's why it is checking out that whether that message is coming up or not okay and uh, because it message will come up so that's why we have written the handler function so let's see the handler function what it is saying that the handler function saying that the message should be like app published hello world if it is not the same message okay or if the message does not display then in in this all in, in both these scenarios it will return false and then our error will come so that's a default uh, code which is uh, written by the microsoft itself for our default uh, app of hello world okay now so you have all this code with you in case you want uh, you want to modify something obviously you can open the vs code and sync your app with it so that uh, your code will come here and uh, then you can push this change to the particular repository okay right now i don't want to make any changes so there is no point of syncing it again in the vs code and then pushing it back okay so what i can do is that i can now directly run my ci cd workflow from here itself okay right in the previous video we have seen that when we push the changes whatever we do in the vs code when we push these changes to our github 
automatically the CI/CD pipeline will run. But now, if we, I don't want to do that because I don't want to make any changes, I just want to test it. I just want to build the app now. So what I can do is I can click on the CI/CD and okay, I can just click on Run Workflow and click on Run Workflow. So what it will do? It will now check my main branch, check the code written in the main branch and starts running the build commit, right? So that's the way like it will, uh, once it is finished off, if you see this, it once it is finished off, it will again create an artifact for you based on, uh, based on your whatever applications defined in your main branch. So right now our main branch have one of the main app, app one and one of the test tab called app1.test. So when this build pipeline runs successfully, it will generate two artifacts for us. First is the main app.app and the second one is the test app.app. Okay, so this is the case like how we can use this second workflow of create a new test app using this ALGO PTE uh, repository. Okay. Now I want to show you further uh, like the thing is because you have already written your, your app and now you want to test your app with respect to uh, with respect to uh, your uh, like how your app will perform under the test uh, under the current version of the business central then under the uh, upcoming version of the business central next minor version and the next major version. Okay, current version is of course right now BC21 is running on so it will test our app for BC21 which is already CI pipeline is also doing right. Now the text minor and text major is that uh, we know that Microsoft launched the minor version of the business central every month. Okay, like BC21.1, 21.2, 21.3 and so on and the next major means the new uh, like we know Microsoft launch uh, two major versions twice uh, in a year like uh, first version major version will be launched in April and second major version will be launched in October. So just like last month Microsoft releases BC21 then BC22 then BC23. So that's a major version. Okay. So if uh, we are creating an app so definitely we want our app to be successful to be to be to build successfully without any error in our uh, upcoming versions of the business central as well. So with this workflow, we have a provision that as soon as we develop our pipeline, sorry, we develop our application, we can test our app with the current version of the business central with the next minor version of the business central and the next major version of the business central. Okay, so if, uh, if you want to test your app with the current version, you no need to do anything, you just have to click on the run workflow uh, you just have to click on this and you have to select the branch against which your uh, freeze code is there and then you have to click on run workflow and it will start running to test your application for the current uh, version of the business central. Then you want to test your app for the next miner. So you can select this one and you can click on run workflow and then here you can select this button click on this button and it will test your application for the BC 21.1 okay or 21.2 okay then uh, when you want to test your application for BC 22 which will be launched in April 2023 so you have to click on this button then click on this button then click on this button and it will start running the workflow to test your applications for the next major version right just want to tell you one thing that uh, when uh, although our pipelines are running but we will get an error uh, to uh, like whenever we like the concept is whenever we want to test our application uh, for the upcoming versions of the business central we need a token okay we need a SAS token insider SAS token okay if we don't define that then definitely we will get an error. Okay, so uh, if you have that SAS token, if you are a Microsoft partner, then definitely you can obtain that 
insider SAS, SAS token and place it here, update it here in this YML file so that when it creates, uh, when it uh, when it generates a BC container for the upcoming version of the business central, uh, Microsoft requires that insider SAS token. So this YML file can provide that and system, uh, this script will manage to create a container of upcoming version of the business central and hence test your application. Okay, so that's the thing guys, uh, uh, as you see, uh, here it is. So see the secret here is defined that we need insider SAS token, right? If you don't have, you will definitely get an error. So right now, as you see that it is running, but uh, very soon we will definitely get an error that because you don't have uh, defined, uh, because you have not defined the SAS token, that's why system not been able to create a BC container for the upcoming versions of the business central. Right. But uh, that's a that's a other thing. The concept is that we have to understand the different workflows created by the Microsoft. So we can do that. Like now we have covered uh, almost like uh, five to six workflows. Uh, like if you if I show you, we have covered uh, create a new app, create a new test app, CI CD, test current, text next major and text next minor. Okay. So next video, uh, next week, we will cover up some other workflows as well to check out what is the use of uh, these workflows and how we can, how it will make our life more easy, uh, especially for the developers. Okay, so thank you very much guys for watching this video. If you like this video, I request you to please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video.